Good morning, good afternoon, good job, everybody. Um, Parsha of Era. Um, pretty exciting, Parsha. Last week, actually, I was looking at the Svasemis on Shabbos and I saw something that really struck me. Um, many years ago, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 years ago, a long time ago, I was uh, Shabbos in uh, Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, I used to, I worked down there, I stayed down there, and I stayed by uh, Shana and uh, Shalom Simon, Rabbi Simon now. And I remember the Shabbos table it was Parsh Bracious, I believe, and um, someone mentioned that why we know so little about creation of the Machava. You know, it's a thousand years they're alive, 900 years. Um, you know, it's t- almost 2,000 years before Abram kind of comes onto the scene. We know very little about creation, Adam, what he went through. And I, I commented, I said, you know, it's really more important, I believe, that what the Avos did than what Abram, what Adam did in creation. I go, it's important, but the, the, the deeds and the maizim that the Avos did, you know, we, we count the Avos from Abram, not Adam or Noah. You know, that's more important, what they did as post-creation. And last week in the parish, I was happy that uh, I was kind of on the right track. So Samus talks about how creation is not as important as fixing the world, which is interesting because Hashem created the world. But Sfa Samus says in Hashem's eyes, it's important how we are fixing the world in the gullus, creating it to a better state than creation, which is which pretty much. And I actually um, thought... That maybe that's what I was thinking a couple of years back, you know, 12 years later, 10 years later. That that's kind of the the more important thing that we're trying to do. And looking at this week's parsha, um, we know that uh, in the gullus, one of the themes of the Fasemis is in the gullus is to see the good, to see the the greatness, and to see the gula in the gullus. Uh, we mentioned Mitzrayim every day in Shema, uh, a couple of times a day. A lot of mitzvahs have a time to see us Mitzrayim because. The Gula and the Gulas are tied together, um, which is kind of fascinating. I thought that Svasamis also talks about where the more Yisurim we have, it's a call to tefillah, it's a call to davening, um, which is why when Hashem hears the crying, that starts the ball rolling. So for hundreds of years that they were in Avdus, they're in Avdus. But once they understand and, and they, they realize that it comes from Hashem, that starts, Hashem hears them. Hashem hears all the time. But Hashem heard them crying to him, not kasam, sakasam, crying to him. And that starts that starts the geula. Um, it's our job in this world is to daven. Really, we daven even if we're not in sar or not in pain. We daven because we're shvach to HaKadosh Baruch We got up in the morning. There's enough to thank Hashem. But more than that is that Hashem will increase the surim to hear crying at tefillah, which isn't a foreign concept. We know that the Imos uh, didn't have children. Hashem wanted to hear the davani. Chana didn't have children. Have Torah of Rosh Hashanah. Um, so we have um, great uh, women that couldn't have children, had Yisurim. Hashem wanted to hear their tefillah. And plus some of this week's parasha, that increasing the surim is a call for tefillah as opposed to the other way around which again not to judge too much uh it just bothers me personally if you know you have a meeting you have a job it cuts into your tefillah you know sometimes you can't make it to a minion your, your meeting goes long you know nowadays shki is for something you work till five o'clock not every place has an afternoon early minchagadola um or you have to catch a train at 7.30 to get to, to work at 8.30. So it means you got to dive in at 6.15. And you got to leave davening sometimes in the middle of Musaf on Rosh Chodesh or middle of laning some days because you got to catch a train. So I get that. But the point is, you know, as best we can to try to work work around tefillah as opposed to tefillah around work as best as we can. Um, I think that's kind of what we were trying, we're supposed to do and try to do is the more you serve we have, that's a call to daven to Hashem. And that's what leads, that's why there's three things that lead to uh, Eretz Yisrael, Torah, 
Olam Haba is through Yisurim, through pain, through hardships. That's how we struggle. That's how we get to higher places. Um, and I thought it really is just an incredible place um, how tshuva and tefillah will get you levarer. That's, you know, we have birer, we have borer, and the the Shvam Torah, levarer, our job is to levarer, the holy sparks in Chutzlars. What, what does that mean? Birer, borer, what, what does it even mean? So right before I looked up on Google Translate, uh, to discern, to search, to discern. And I think that's kind of what our job is, is to live our rare. And, and this morning I'm just thinking, the the guy, the side of the road, the side of the road, you know, you know, 1849, they're in California, they're looking for gold, and they take the pan, they put it in the water, they, they sh- they're moving, and they're picking everything up. So they're picking up a whole bunch of rocks, and then they filter out the water, and they want to see what's left. And whatever... Um, is large enough not to fall through the, the crack, the holes, is going to be large enough to see if it's gold or not. And whatever is gold they keep, whatever is not, they throw away. And that, that's our job, is all these situations are thrown at us, and it's our job to see if it's good or bad. Um, are we going to, uh, is it a good thing? Do we learn from it? Is it bad? We take it away. I mean, the purpose, obviously, is everything is good, but our job is live our rares, to really look through everything to see the real purpose of it, the real truth behind it, and that gets to a higher level. And I think it's kind of a big chiddush that in Tafresh Mem Zayin, Svas Emes, I actually that took a picture, I'll put it in the uh, in the WhatsApp, it says, the guy may have maybe, maybe. You know, it's not, Svas Emes couldn't say this, he says a maybe. Because Moshe was perfect, tov, completely, Shurak Aidei Habirur Mikodem. Moshe couldn't go to Yisrael because he was totally good, because Yer Yisrael is only a place, Habirur Mikodem, only from this discernment earlier, only from someone who has spent his life to struggle and do this discernment, live our rare, to do this, that's someone who goes to Yer Yisrael. Um, we know Baal Tshuva is. The place about Shuvah Tzadikim can't go, you know, we always think, okay, place meaning spiritually, but maybe the place, according to Hashem, says Eretz Yisrael. Maybe Eretz Yisrael is a place where Moshe couldn't go because he's already perfect. And Eretz Yisrael is a place where you have to struggle to get there. You have to struggle to, to live there. Uh, you got to work on it. And perhaps this is this is us, not just Eretz Yisrael, but this is us as Baal Shuvahs. We're all Baal Shuvah trying to get to a higher place. And it's only through this borer, levarer, this discernment of going through our life and going through Surim and taking the lessons for it, from it, that's how we, we grow. Shabbat shalom.